Good day from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's learn about these structural features that are common in Michael acceptors. We have a Michael addition across the top of the screen, the nucleophile, the Michael donor attacks the CC pi bond of the Michael acceptor. Notice the features of the Michael acceptor. You need an electron withdrawing group on the CC double bond. The role of the EWG is to stabilize the formation of a carbanion after attack by the nucleophile. The EWG can be almost any strong EWG. I tend to think about meta directors from aromatic reactions. Examples at the bottom include ketones, esters, nitriles, and nitro groups, among others. One group I want to specifically exclude is the aldehyde. I'll draw an example in the bottom right corner. The reason aldehydes are not good is that they are so electrophilic. If you reacted a nucleophile with this molecule in the lower right, it would be attacked at the aldehyde carbon, doing a 1-2 addition instead of attacking at the beta carbon. Let's see another factor for the Michael addition, sterics. On the screen are three alpha-beta unsaturated ketones. For these Michael acceptors, we do have an electron withdrawing group. It's the ketone carbonyl. What's changing on these compounds is the substitution about the beta carbon. On the left, we have no R groups. In the middle, we have one R group. On the right, we have two R groups. As the beta carbon becomes more sterically hindered, going from left, to write, the Michael addition will become less likely. On the far right molecule, the nucleophile might prefer to do a 1-2 addition instead of a 1-4 addition. Steric effects do not determine the outcome of the addition, but sterics are definitely a factor to consider. So those are some important details from Michael acceptors. Michael acceptors are double bonds with an electron withdrawing group. Minimizing steric hindrance around the electrophilic carbon makes a Michael addition more likely.